Zerzon Ness is in Watcher's Grave. He's currently selling the Curse of Osiris uh, Mercury armor, if I remember correctly. This armor is pretty cool in certain spots. Uh, I say that because the hunters have some pretty cool pieces, like the boots I actually really like. The cloak is pretty cool. Chest piece can be used, and I think the arms also can be used. Just be aware that a lot of it is asymmetrical, uh, at least for the boots and the arms those are super asymmetrical for the titans also the arms are asymmetrical the boots are not and then i think the chest is the best piece from the whole set just because uh, i've used it in a really cool set and then for the warlocks uh i'm not a fan of a lot of it if any i think the bond is pretty cool uh the helmet you can definitely use in like a vex thing maybe but other than that i'm not the biggest fan of it let me know what you guys think about the armor set uh, again i'm gonna post it just because a, I'm finally home on a Friday and I can make this video right now. And I know people are going to want to pick up the Mercury stuff because the Mercury stuff is actually pretty rare. Um, even though it's, it has the symbol of Season of the Lost, it's still for Mer Mercury and for newer players, this is definitely an old set. As for the weapons, we have Cold Denial with Zen Woman and Sympathetic Arsenal. We have Tears of Contri Contrition, Triple Tap and Mulligan. We have Brass Attacks, Surplus, and Wellspring, which is actually pretty good. Mm, that's pretty good. Cartesian Coordinate, Under Pressure, and Swashbuckler. Man, this could have been it, bro. This could have been it. If it wasn't like Swash and something else, that would have been dope. Um, Seven Seraph CQC 12 with Lead from Gold and Shield Disorient. This one actually might be good as a PvE roll um, Energy Matches is certain. Yeah, like that. This Shield Disorient would be really good in a heavy like solar shield area and then lead from gold is always a dub personally i love lead from gold um thread needle with rangefinder and demolitionist and nine hunger with zen moment and rampage i definitely would pick this one up just because uh zen moment did get buffed and rampage is super dope if i don't have nine hungers damn that's crazy all right so for this other exotic or for the exotics killing wind and fourth times the charm i would definitely pick up fourth times the charm just because cranial spike with fourth times the charm is just wild like you almost shoot forever it feels like and then for the other ones it's graviton lance unfortunate because now more people are going to be using this orpheus rig with the most mid stats i've ever seen granted you'll be getting at least a one on all of it and then a two on one of the ones that you pick but, eh. Crest of Alpha Lupi. Ooh, that mobility is way too high. And then Claws of Ahankara with mobility way too high. But this is decent. If you don't have any of these, pick them up. Because uh, just unlock it for your collections. It's always useful to do that. And let's see what I unlock. Let's see. Hopefully it's something good. Liar's Handshake. I already have a Liar's Handshake. I appreciate you though. Um, Let me see real quick. Let me see. Let's just pull... The one I just got, so that way you guys can see the rolls instead of me just looking off off camera. Oh, um, I'm gonna say no, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna say no, just because like, like I appreciate that strength is at 17, but I really don't need strength at 17, so I'm just gonna do this. Um, because the the build I have now is just a little bit better and yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i do have a few things planned unfortunately i've just been so busy with other content that i'm playing right now like i'm playing diablo 4 uh street fighter 6 i'm just honestly enjoying my time not playing destiny 2 but that comes with a with a negative of i just don't have time to play this game which means i'm really lagging behind getting some of these ornaments because I know you guys want me to make a, a review for this. And I definitely want to do it uh, just because it's one of my more favorite videos because people usually have a really big opinion on, on about like the seasonal ornaments and I usually have a differing opinion. Not that I'm like a, a contra contradist or whatever they're called. Not that I'm like that. It's just most of the time, like I'm very picky. Like the armor set really has to be like to my to my liking, I guess you would say. So it's not like I do it on purpose, but at the same time, it's not like I'm completely negative most of the time. Well, sometimes I'm just like, I'm destroying an armor set, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.